Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Today, we're going to be talking about Die Hard, 2023 re-release. So, as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons, so let's get to it. Pros. It's Die Hard. Like, come on. <laughs> this is a classic right here, starring Bruce Willis as John McClane. Like, when this movie came out, huge hit. Big old hit. Spawned several sequels on spawned four sequels although most people believe there's only three sequels and i don't blame people for thinking that because probably best we forget the fifth movie ever happened but yeah the Die Hard movies were big it was a big old franchise and all started with this and yeah i mean Die Hard's legacy is pretty strong although the last movie more did some damage to that legacy but so nobody likes to think about a good day to die hard, like, ever. <laughs> but, yeah, Die Hard, the original, it's a classic. So, yeah, the Die Hard being a classic, that's a pro. Another pro is the fact that I believe this is the 35th anniversary, if the numbers are right. Yeah, yeah, 35th anniversary of this movie. So, kind of makes sense to do a re-release now. You know, capitalize on that, although probably should have done it five years ago in 2018. It would have been better. I don't, they didn't do a re, why? That was the 30th anniversary. That was a, you got a prime chance to do it and they just didn't. Like, what the hell? <laughs> but, oh well. But 30, you got the 35th anniversary. So there's something. Um, so yeah, the fact that it's an anniversary. I'd label that as a pro, I guess. So that's pro number two. Uh, trying to think of some other pros. I guess another pro is the fact that it's coming out in December. Because, you know, for the longest time, there was a big debate on whether or not this movie was a Christmas movie. Because it takes place during Christmas, technically. So one could argue it is. And society at this point is pretty much... Um, said that this is a Christmas movie. So the fact that it's released in December makes sense. It makes all the sense in the world. So, you know, the fact that this, you know, this debatable Christmas movie is coming out in December makes sense. So that's a pro. Uh, are there any other pros? I mean, competition is kind of bleh. I mean, you got the boy and the hair on, but that's going after a completely different demographic. And there's everything else is like either a completely different, completely different demographic or this is dead. So, yeah, not no real direct competition. So that's a pro. And I think that's it. So cons like what's the point of watching this in theaters? Like, there's no real point. This movie's been available to watch forever, for decades. You had VHS, you had DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, streaming, PVD. You have so many ways to see this movie. And pretty much at this point, anyone who's wanted to see this movie has seen this movie. So why watch it on the big screen again? Like, there's no real benefit. It's not like there's enhancements or anything. <laughs> like, it's just the original movie. So, yeah. So this, some would argue this re-release feels extremely pointless. <laughs> so, yeah. So the fact that, like, you can literally watch Die Hard in, like, so many other ways besides on the big screen. Yeah, that's a con. Dealing with that problem that a lot of re-releases have. Which is, like, why, what's the point of this? So, that's a con. Another con is that people are going to be watching... Born a hair on, they'd rather be watching Godzilla minus one. There's other options out there, even though like it's it's a pretty crowded market right now, even though a lot of the movies aren't doing well. There's still a lot out there. And not to mention, after this, like things are really gonna ramp up. You got Wonka next weekend, and then the weekend after that, just a whole a boatload of movies are gonna hit the marketplace and it's gonna wreck any movie that's come out beforehand which includes this so yeah so 
even though there's no direct competition, there's still just a lot of movies out right now, and there's and there's gonna be a lot of movies coming out real soon. So that's a con. Um I think that I mean I guess I can mention how Die Hard Die Hard 5, A Good Day to Die Hard, that was a franchise killer, straight up. <laughs> that movie pretty much murdered any chance of any more Die Hard movies. Although, I do remember rumblings of like this movie called Die Hard Year One. It's supposed to be like this prequel, but it never got off the ground. And honestly, thank God, I don't think anyone wanted to see that. So, yeah, Die Hard... Uh, the way it ended, it 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 could have gone a lot better. It but what happened to Die Hard is basically what happened to Indiana Jones, except Indiana Jones experienced that twice with Kingdom of the Crystal Skull and Dial of Destiny. Both both movies one could label as franchise killers. So Die Hard only had one, but still dealing with the how it all ended. Yeah, that's I'm gonna label that as a bit of a minor con. And I think that's it. So opening weekend, oof, I'd be surprised if this hit a million dollars. It might. You know what? I'm gonna say a million. A million dollars. <laughs> it's just that a million, and its total, I guess two to three million, like extra to its eighty-one million total. And yeah, that's it. So there's two more movies to discuss. Oof, I just want this to be over, but. Gotta discuss these movies. There's Love Actually and there's The Oath. And then we'll be done. So, yeah, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe. Like this video. Leave a comment. Turn, notifi turn on notifications. Share the whole drill. There's also the Cancelled series. Where I go over all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't. Never cover this re-release. Because I literally didn't know this was happening until this week. So, there's that. Uh, I just made a canceled episode a little while ago about the Bike Riders, Underdogs, and Horoscope. That was episode 221, so if you want to watch that or any other ones I've done uh, recently. Well, I guess there's also 220, which is about Soul, Luca, Turning Red, and Thanksgiving to an Nosferatu. It's 221 episodes. If you want to watch any of them from beginning to now, binge them all from beginning to now, I highly encourage you to do that, so go do it. And there's also uh, box office predictions where I predict box office for movies. Obviously, I'm doing the ones here. Next week, I do Wonka, and which is apparently the only movie coming out next weekend that's a wide release. I hope that's true because I'm really getting sick of these three to four movie weekends. They're burning me out. <laughs> so... Yeah, and the whole Christmas, that hasn't even started yet. I'm dreading doing those videos. Uh, But, yeah, for my prediction videos, if you want to watch any of the ones I've done this year, any of the re-releases I've done, because I've done quite a few, so if you want to watch any of those, Uh, go right ahead. Uh, or any of the other prediction videos I've done on the channel. There's also box office recaps where I go over the box office results for any particular month. Uh, My... November recap I just did like t a day ago technically um so we want to watch that and my December recap won't be till the first week of January so before before January 12th between the 5th and the 12th that's when it'll drop so stay tuned for that but if you want to watch any of the past recap videos of man the channel you can go right ahead and yeah that's it that's all I am out goodbye <laughs>